Hey guys, welcome to the 189th C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to continue working on our reader class. Now, in the previous tutorial, I told you that you had to finish uh, all of these, so make sure that you have a method for reading a uint 16, an int 32, a uint 32, an int 64, and a uint 64. Alright, so in this tutorial, we're going to create a method for reading bytes. So we're just going to say right here, public byte array read bytes, and we're just going to have the user pass through the amount of bytes that they want read. So we're just going to say int amount. Alright, and then we're just going to call the binary reader method read bytes. So we're just going to say right here, byte array buffer equals br dot read um, bytes. So we're go up here to the read bytes method. Alright, read bytes and then we just want to read the amount of bytes that the user wants to read. Alright, now the funny thing is about the read bytes method is that it will actually read in big endian, so it will read in the correct way, so it will read from left to right. So we only want it to reverse this if it's little endian. So we're going to say right here, if byte order equals byte order dot little endian, then we just want to reverse this byte array called buffer right here. So we're going to say array dot reverse that um, byte array, which is buffer. Alright, and then only if it's little endian, it will reverse the byte array, and then we just want to return that byte array called buffer. So return buffer. Alright, and now we're all set. We have everything that we need for reading numbers. And like I said in the previous tutorial, you're going to want to make sure that you have comments on all of these, like summary telling the user like what this method does, like what s read s byte is, telling them that it's a signed byte, and like where it reads it from, and stuff like that. Alright, so two things that we're going to do now is create a close method. And the close method will basically just close the uh, binary reader so that the user can use the file for a different operation or in a different stream or something like that. So we're just going to say right here public void close and then we're just going to say br.close. Alright so that's pretty easy. That's all you really need inside of this uh, close method right here. And the next thing that we're going to want to do is create a method to change the byte order so that the user will be able, will be able to change the order of the bytes or like how they're read. So we're going to go right here and create a public void for changing the uh, byte order since there's nothing to return, the user doesn't really need uh, any information about this method. So then we're just going to say change uh, byte order. And then we're just going to have the user pass through the byte order that they want it to change to. So we're going to say byte order and I'm just going to call this bo for byte order. Alright, and then I'm just going to say right here, byte order, so the byte order inside of this class right here, and we're going to want to make sure it's accessing the one inside of this class and not the base class, so we're going to say this dot byte order equals bo, so the byte order that the user passes through this method. So let's say the byte order was currently, mm, I don't know, little endian, and the user wants to change it to big endian because they have one number that they're trying to read that must be read as big endian. So they can just change the byte order to big endian, then it'll read it as big endian. Then if they wanted to, they could call this method back again and change it back to little endian. If after that they had to have uh, more numbers that they needed to read in little endian. Alright, so that's really all that we're going to be doing in this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to be getting into reading strings and characters and all that good stuff. So, see you guys.